They remember what happened when China was weak between roughly 1850 and 1950. They refer to it as the century of national humiliation. It's the centerpiece of their nationalism today. The Chinese understand full well what happens when you're weak in international politics. Countries like the United States and countries like Japan, when they're more powerful than you, push you around. Chinese have every intention of making sure that they build a very powerful state and that none of their neighbors can give them a run for their money militarily. And do I blame them? I don't blame them one bit. If I were the national security advisor in Beijing, I'd be saying, let's build as much military capability as we can. Let's make sure that the gap between us and Russia, us and India, us and Japan, and us and all the other neighbors is as large as possible. Is that because I'm highly aggressive? Is that because I like to beat up on other countries? No. It's because the best way to survive in the international system is to be the biggest and baddest dude on the block.